The Tokyo Olympics officially kicked off this week with an unexpected feature from a UK star. Viewers were left shocked as Susan Boyle, 60, made a guest appearance at the opening ceremony on Friday, through the stadium speakers. Event organizers selected Susan's ballad wings to fly to wow the crowd as paper doves were released in the Tokyo Olympic Stadium. As billions of viewers watched across the globe, countless paper doves rained down from the sky alongside Susan's track. Taking to Twitter, the musician wrote, It was a true honor to be asked by the hashtag Tokyo Olympics to use my song Wings to Fly during the Dove release at the opening ceremony. Good luck to all of the athletes competing and especially to at Team GB, she added supportively. And fans were left shocked as one tweeted, Susan Boyle and the Tokyo Olympics are not a pair I would have put together but there we go. Many more then rushed to Twitter to show their support for the singer's inclusion in the opening ceremony. They played Susan Boyle during the Olympics opening ceremony. God bless you Japan, wrote one account. Susan Boyle singing at the Japanese Olympic opening ceremony. Who'd have thunk it, sick, quipped another. Was that Susan Boyle? A fourth user added with a shocked emoji. Ah yes, the relevant artist Susan Boyle, chimed in another viewer. Who had Susan Boyle as part of the Tokyo opening ceremony on their 2021 bingo card? Asked an additional flummoxed viewer. Susan shot to start him on Britain's Got Talent when she wowed judges with her rendition of I Dreamed a Dream from Les Miserables. The crooner has previously admitted that she felt like an act in a freak show during her first audition on the show. Susan admitted she felt suffocated when she took to the stage as people were laughing at her crazy hair and dress sense. She told the Irish Mirror. It felt quite suffocating, almost as though I was an act in a freak show, and that hurt. It was incredibly difficult to come to terms with for a time, but the positives have far outweighed the negatives. Everyone was laughing at me, they wondered who this daft woman with the crazy hair was. And I had made a bad choice in clothes, so no one had high expectations. Susan has also confessed that despite her worldwide fame she hasn't been on a date in six years. Discussing how she went missing with a doctor, she explained on Loose Women, let's just say he rubbed me up the right way. Though when asked where she had a Valentine's date she refused to say, and said it was a secret, before claiming, there was somebody once but they had the sense to end the relationship, I think.